everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be adding text into a pullet in roblox studio so all you're going to want to do is right click add a pullet then inside of that pullet you're going to add a surface gui inside of that surface gui you're going to add a text label now for that text label you're going to scroll down go to anchor point and change it to 0.5 comma 0.5 for the background transparency you're going to add one for the border size pixel you're going to add zero then scroll down, position 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0. For the size 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. Then you're going to scroll down to the text. And here you can change the text font. So I'm just going to change it to this font. Then if you want to change the size of the font, you can click this button, which is text scaled. And this will automatically change it to the biggest size that the text can fit in now if you want to make it smaller you can uncheck that box so i'm going to uncheck it and you can change the font size right here under text size now that you've done that if you want to change the color you can go to text color 3 i'm just going to change it to white now let's say i want to add an outline to the text all you're going to do is go to text label and you're going to add a stroke a ui stroke you're going to add that and then in that ui stroke you can go to thickness and change the thickness. Now if you want to change the color of the outline, you're going to go to color and just change it however you'd like. So now that you've got your font and your outline, you can change the color of the part behind you. You're just going to go to color and select the color that you'd like. Now I forgot to mention this, but if you actually want to change the text, you're going to select the text label, go down, go to text, and just type whatever you'd like. And that's pretty much it. So this was a really simple tutorial on how to add text into a pullet in Roblox Studio. And if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe so I can do more of these videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.